Hello friends, today we're going to be doing Skills 5, Lesson 12. Throughout today's lesson, we're going to see these learning targets. I can recognize that the past tense marker at the end of verbs is ed and may be pronounced t, d, or ed. I can read words with d spelled d, dd, -D, and ed. I can read Jack's tale and answer questions about key details in the story. Today, we're going to review the d sound as in dot. Say d with me. D. 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 Is d a vowel sound or a consonant sound? It is a consonant sound. T and d sounds are very similar. They are sister sounds. The only difference between the sounds is their voicing. T is voiceless and d makes the voice box vibrate. We're going to practice telling the difference between the d and t sound. When you hear the d sound, say one. When you hear the t sound, say two. Two. That was the t sound. D. One. That was the d sound. D. One. That was the d sound. T. Two. That was the t sound. Now we're going to practice with words. When you hear the d sound in a word, say one. When you hear a word with the t sound, say two. Tape. Tape. Two. Tape has the t sound. Dip. Dip. One. Dip has the d sound. Ditch. Ditch. One. Ditch has the d sound. Tuck. Tuck. Two. Tuck has the t sound. Duck. Duck. One. Duck has the d sound. Drill. Drill. One. Drill has the d sound. Ten, ten. Two, ten has the t sound. Dark, dark. One, dark has the d sound. Taste, taste. Two, taste has the t sound. Dim, dim. One, dim has the d sound. Now, we're going to go over the spellings for the d sound. We've already learned that the d sound can be spelt with a d, like in the word dot. When we look at this power bar, this power bar tells us that d is a very common spelling for the sound d. Let's look at some other words that have the d sound spelt with a d. Duck. Mad. Another spelling that we've learned for the d sound is dd, like in the word add. This power bar tells us that dd is not a very common spelling for the d sound. Let's look at some more words where the d sound is spelt with dd. Add and matter. We've also learned that the d sound can be spelt with ed, like in the word field. This power bar tells us that ed is not a very common spelling for the d sound. Let's look at some more words where the d sound is spelt with ed. Planned, trimmed. Now, 
Turn in your Skills 5 workbook to activity page 12.1 on page 59. The words in the box contain the sound D, spelled D, DD, -D, or ED. Let's read the words together and underline the spellings for the D sound. The first word is down, down. The D sound is spelled with a D. The next word is could, could. The D sound is spelled with D. The next word is duck, duck. The d sound is spelt with d. The next word is add, add. The d sound is spelt dd. The next word is trimmed, trimmed. The d sound is spelt ed. The next word is shred. Shred, the d sound is spelled D. The next word is shredding, shredding. The d sound is spelled DD. The next word is wedding, wedding. The d sound is spelled with DD. The next word is odd, odd. The d sound is spelled DD. The next word is hide, hide. The d sound is spelled D. The next word is said, said. The d sound is spelled D. The last word is planned, planned. The d sound is spelled ED. Now, I want you to sort the words based on their spellings for the d sound. If the spelling for the d sound was D, put it in the first column. If the spelling for the d sound was DD, put it in the middle column. If the spelling for the d sound was ED, put it in the last column. Let's check our work. Down should have gone in the D column. Could should have gone in the D column. Duck should have gone in the D column. Add should have gone in the DD column. Trimmed should have gone in the ED column. Shred should have gone in the D column. Shredding should have gone in the DD column. Wedding should have gone in the DD column. Odd should have gone in the DD column. Hide should have gone in the D column. Said should have gone in the D column. Planned should have gone in the ED column. Now let's look at some patterns that we can notice based on how the words were sorted. D is the most common spelling for the D sound. ED is used for past tense verbs. Some words change from D to DD when suffixes are added. Now, let's look at the back of our activity page. This chart lists words with common spelling patterns for the D sound. The words in the first column are called root words. These are words to which endings can be added. The endings ER and EST are added to root words to indicate more of the root word with ER and most of the root word with EST. Let's look at the first line of the chart. Our root word was MAD. When we added ED to MAD, the new word is MATTER. MATTER. When we add EST to MAD, the new word is MADDEST, MADDEST. The D spelling is replaced in these words by DD because a one syllable word with the short vowel sound is followed by a single consonant. Changes a double letter spelling 
it changes to a double letter spelling when a suffix is added. Let's go over the rest of the words in the box. The next root word is sad, sad. When we add ER to sad, our new word is sadder. When we add EST to sad, our new word is saddest. Our next root word is hard, hard. When we add ER to hard, our new word is harder, harder. When we add EST to hard, our new word is hardest, hardest. Our next root word is red, red. When we add ER to red, our new word is redder, redder. When we add EST to red, our new word is reddest, reddest. Our last root word is loud. When we add ER to loud, our new word is louder, louder. When we add EST to loud, our new word is loudest, loudest. Let's go over our learning targets again. I can recognize that the past tense marker at the end of verbs is ed and may be pronounced t, d, or ed. I can read words with d spelled d, 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 and ed. I can read Jack's tell and answer questions about key details in the story. Let's look at the word tell. Sometimes when people go camping, they like to tell tales or entertaining stories at nighttime. This spelling of tell is not the same as the tell on a cat or dog. This spelling of tell is entertaining stories. In today's story, we're going to hear about a tale that Jack shares with Nan, Kate, and Max when they are sitting around after dinner. Jack's tale is about robbers or outlaws in the West a long time ago. The setting for Jack's tale is in the past before there were cars or planes. Outlaws are people who do something that is against the law, such as stealing something that does not belong to them. Let's go over some of the spelling patterns and words we're going to see in our story today. We're going to see the J sound spelled with a G, like in the word ginger, ginger, and the word legend, legend, and the word gents, gents. We're also going to see the spelling J spelled G-E in the word Age, age. We're going to see the spelling pattern OW, spelled O-U, in the words shout, shout, and in the word outlaw, outlaw. We're going to see some consonant doublings in the words letter, letter, robbing, robbing, tipped, tipped, pass, pass. And we're also going to see the tricky words, who, who, stagecoach, stagecoach, and would, would. Let's look at the word outlaw. Outlaw is a compound word made up of out and law. Stagecoach is also a compound word made up of stage and coach. The first syllable of the word stagecoach is stage. Let's look at the letters OA. These letters stand for the sound O as in home. Let's read the word again. Stagecoach. A stagecoach is a vehicle drawn by horses that is used to transport people, money, and mail.
let's go over some of the vocabulary terms we're going to see in today's story. One of the words we're going to see is ginger snaps. Ginger snaps are cookies made from ginger. Outlaw. An outlaw is a person living outside of the law, meaning he or she does not follow the laws. Drawn. Drawn means pulled. Strong box. A strong box is a box where things that are placed to be locked up and kept safe. Top hat. A top hat is a tall hat normally worn for special occasions. Gents. Gents is the short form for the word gentleman. Nabbed. Nabbed means caught. Let's read today's story to find out more about Jack's tale about outlaws. Jack's tale. After dinner, we munched on some ginger snaps. Then Jack shared an outlaw tale. This happened out here in the West a long time back, said Jack, in an age when there were no cars and no planes. Back then, if you had to send a letter, you sent it by stagecoach. The stagecoach was sort of like a car, but it was drawn by horses. There was a place where men could sit inside, but the man who drove the stagecoach sat outside up on top. The man who drove the stagecoach kept the strong box next to him. The strong box was a locked box where he kept the cash. Sometimes outlaws would rob the stagecoach. Those outlaws were bad men, but there was one who, who some said was a bit better than the rest. His name was Bart. Bart was a sharp dresser. He did his robbing in a jacket and a black top hat. He had the best manners you ever saw. When he robbed, he did not yell and shout at the men he was robbing. Not Bart. He tipped his hat. Then he said, Excuse me, gents. Would you be so fine to pass down the strong box with the cash in it? No, said Nan. Yes, said Jack. It's not just a legend. It's a fact. You can look it up. Did they catch him? Max asked. Nope, said Jack. He came back and robbed the stagecoach, stagecoach lots of times. Did they ever catch him? I asked. Yes. After a long hunt, they nabbed him. They charged him with theft and locked him up for a long time. He did his time. Then they let him back out. Then what happened? I asked. Jack said, Bart shaped up in the end. When they let him out, he said he was finished with crime. That's cool, said Max. Now, let's go over some questions about our story. How were letters sent from one person to another delivered in Jack's tale? Letters were sent by stagecoach. What is a stagecoach? A stagecoach is a vehicle drawn by horses. What was kept in the strong box? Money was kept in the strong box. Why did Jack say that Bart was a bit better than other outlaws? Bart was a bit better because he was polite and he didn't yell or shout. What happened to Bart? He was caught and was locked up in jail. And then when he was let out, he was no longer an outlaw. Now turn in your Skills 5 workbook to activity page 12.2 on page 61. Write your name and date at the top. Number one, what did Jack do after dinner? 
In our story on page 26, it says, After dinner, Jack shared an outlaw tale. Make sure you write your page number. Number two, who was Bart? In our story, it says, Sometimes outlaws would rob the stagecoach. Those outlaws were bad men, but there was no one who some said was a bit better than the rest. His name was Bart. So, Bart was a robber who robbed the stagecoach. And we found that on page 28. Let's look at question number three. What sort of banners did Bart have? In our reader, it says, he had the best manners you ever saw. So did Bart have bad manners? Bart had so-so manners? Or Bart had good manners? Bart had good manners. And we found that on page 28. Let's look at the back of our activity page. Number four says, what is a strong box? In our reader on page 28, it says, the strong box was a locked box where he kept the cash. So, a strong box is a locked box with cash in it. We found that on page 28. Let's look at question number five. What happened to Bart after he was nabbed? On page 31, it says, he said he was finished with crime. Bart said he was finished with crime, and we found that on page 31. For homework, turn in your Skills 5 workbook to activity page 12.3 on page 63. You can cut these words out and practice the spelling alternatives for ch and j with a family member. You can read the words and use them in sentences. Let's go over our learning targets one last time. I can recognize that the past tense marker at the end of verbs is ed and may be pronounced t, d, or ed. I can read words with d spelled d, 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 and ed. I can read Jack's tale and answer questions about key details in the story. Happy learning!